This is question 20 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Uh, here we're given the first four terms of a quadratic sequence, 7, 18, 33 and 52. And we're asked to find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at what I'm having to do to go from term to term. So how am I getting from the first term to the second term? I am adding on 11. Then from the second term to the third term, I'm adding on 15. And then from the third term to the fourth term, I'm adding on 19. So what I can see here, and, and I should recognize this as well from the fact that we're told it's a quadratic sequence, is the amount that we are having to add to get from term to term is not constant. I'm adding on 11 to get from the first to the second, 15 to get from the second to the third, and 19 to get from the third to the fourth. So when this happens, what I have to do is I have to look for the second difference. And so what I can see here is that at my second difference is 4. So the second difference is 4. And so what that tells me is that I take my second difference and this tells me the first part of my nth term for the quadratic sequence. And what I do is I take that second difference and half it. So half of 4 is 2. And so what I say is that this is 2 n squared. Now the next thing to do is to now write out what the 2 n squared sequence is going to be. So n squared, so the first term in the 2 n squared sequence would be 1 squared multiplied by 2 for 2, then 2 squared multiplied by 2 for 8, 3 squared multiplied by 2 for 18, and then 4 squared multiplied by 2 for 32. Now what I'm now going to do is I'm going to compare the sequence that I've got 7, 18, 33 and 52 and I'm going to compare that with this 2n squared sequence because I know that my answer is going to be 2n squared something but it looks as I'm going to have to do make some other changes as well. So the first term is 7, 18, 33 and 52. And what I'm looking for here is, well, what am I going to have to do to 2n squared to get to the numbers in my sequence? So what I can see is that on this first one, I'd have to take 2n squared and add on 5 to it. Then if I look at the second term, and if so, if for example, um, if I just had to add on 5 to each one, I could just write down 2n squared plus 5. But what I can see is that on this second term, I'm having to add on 10. Then I'm having to add on 15. And then I'm having to add on 20. So my first term here, first <clears throat> for the first term, I'm having to add on 5. Then I'm having to add on 10, then 15, then 20. So what I can say is that Together, what I'm having to add on here is I'm having to add on 5 extra each time. So what I'm basically saying is that I'm having to add on another sequence. So what is this sequence that I'm having to add on? So I've got a first term of 5, a second term of 10, a third of 15. Well, this is just the linear sequence, 5n. So my final answer to this question is going to be 2n squared plus 5n. Uh, and that's the final answer.